as I try to warm up in here. Welcome back, everyone. It is good to see you again. Happy New Year. Today is January 1st, 2023, and we are kicking it off strong with a second annual EDC video. Can't believe it's already been a year since I made one of these videos, but I figured this would be a good way to put to the test uh, whether or not the things that I touted and bragged about last year are actually, uh, do they stand the test of time? Uh, spoiler alert, uh, they do for the most part, but a few things have changed. So if it's not broken, then don't worry about fixing it. So let's go ahead and start with the things that did not change uh, since last year. First and foremost, the item everyone, everyone's talking about, the pocket knife, the beloved pocket knife. This was a anniversary present from my wife. After being married for 10 years, she puts up with me, uh, then she buys me a knife. So <laughs> um, this is the Benchmade 940 Osborne. Uh, it is not a, a cheap knife, but again, it was a, a special occasion, a special gift. If you're looking for a knife kind of like this, where it's got the, the axis lock, where you can kind of do that fun, that fun flick that I just can't ever get, I never get tired of it. It's been two years and I'm just like, ah, every day, all the time, you know? Um, not around people, but when I'm alone in the shop like this, uh, it's fine. But I actually have a knife that is far less expensive that kind of recreates that same experience. This one's made by Ganzo and it's only $20. So I'll put a link in the description. If you are wondering if this type of a pocket knife is right for you, um, this feels like a good build quality. I haven't played with it a whole lot, but to be honest, um, my expectations were low and it was pretty impressive. So it also comes razor sharp out of the box. So do be careful, but it's a pocket knife. You should be careful anyways. All right, next, what hasn't changed? The flashlight, I still cannot recommend this flashlight enough. This is the Olight I3T, oh look, it's so worn now, I'm having, I'm having more trouble reading the letters. I3T EOS, this is still available on Amazon for 20 bucks. I forgot to tell you about one fantastic feature of this flashlight last year, the clip. Obviously it clips to a pocket or to your belt or, or whatever you wanna clip it to, but the clip has a secondary clippy thing on uh, on it where you can actually attach it to the bill of a hat like this and then you have yourself a hands-free headlamp uh, in a pinch should you need that so again this flashlight it still works perfectly i have used it so many times over the last year it takes just a single triple a battery it is water resistant. You don't have to worry about having to recharge it because you just exchange the battery real quick. It's got those two modes, uh, dim and bright, and um, four hours on dim, about, about 20 minutes, maybe not quite uh, on the bright setting. So I, I just, if you don't have one of these and you are thinking maybe you need a flashlight, I can't recommend this one enough. All right. A little more boring, what hasn't changed? My phone, it's an iPhone 12. Nothing to, nothing to write home about, it's a good phone. My whole family's on iPhones and my side of the family lives out of state. So that makes communicating with them a little more seamless and um, yeah, shameless plug for the uh, Daily Own Homestead logo right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what has changed? Last year I mentioned an honorable mention, um, you know, something that isn't quite EDC, but it's close and it was chapstick and I, used a local chapstick. Well, the chapstick has gotten even more local because it is a daily owned homestead prototype chapstick that my wife is actually making. And um, it is not available for sale yet as she is still perfecting her recipe, but I can tell you when it's ready, it's gonna be amazing. So that has changed. What else has changed? Handkerchief. I. So I'll be honest, I really don't carry one around too much anymore. There's one in my bag, which is gonna be uh, featured next. Oh, I forgot about the bag, shoot. <laughs> what hasn't changed? The bag, everybody, the Mystery Ranch three-way briefcase. This thing is amazing. You can hear me talk all about it in the last year's video, so I won't go into all the details, but again, 
stands up on its own, has the rip zip pocket here in the front that you can quickly access things if you need to. I took this thing through the airports with me on the way to Texas back in October, and it, it's, it's the perfect bag. I have yet to find a bag as perfect as that one. So yes, the Mystery Ranch briefcase is amazing. But another thing that actually did change is the wallet. I upgraded my wallet. This still meets our criteria of being thin. I think this was, a wallet has to be thin in my opinion and made of leather because it's durable, it looks nice and it feels good and it is the most comfortable type of wallet to wear in my opinion. This one I purchased locally at a craft fair from a very kind woman who was getting into leatherworking. I saw this wallet, it caught my eye amongst a few others and I just had to have it and it's perfect. So, you know, this is another plug that you should be supporting uh, local merchants. Go to craft fairs and check them out. See what they have to offer. You never know what you're gonna find. Okay, I think that's it. Is that everything for the EDC? I know last year I mentioned the coffee mug, but I left that at work before going on vacation, so I don't have that to show you. It hasn't changed. It's still that Contigo brand. It needs to be have a rubber grip. It needs to be pressed to open, not the flip top. And yeah, that hasn't changed though. So, okay, is that everything? Let me look at my notes. Yes, that's all. <laughs> okay, everyone, I'm gonna go get ready for the next video, which is going to be about a recent storm that we had. And I'll be honest with you, the storm kind of kicked my butt when it comes to uh, getting redundancy uh, power going and uh, setting up generators and things like that. We're going to talk all about that in the next video. So I will see you over there probably relatively soon. And I hope you have a good day and that your year is off to a great start. And I'll see you on the next one.